Hi, my name is Ashley Regan, and I'm a technical digital strategist at Fulius. I'm here to highlight to you how you can format your data within HubSpot through the use of Operations Hub. With HubSpot's Operations Hub, data quality automation, clean data isn't just easy, it's automatic. I'll be running through three common examples that we encounter on a regular basis of how you can automate the process of maintaining a clean CRM. So the first one to call out is how you can actually rectify any discrepancies in a first name or last name. So this is in the instance that names are getting entered into your CRM either all in bold, so uppercase, or alternatively that there's actually no capitalization involved. An easy way to rectify this is if I navigate to an example workflow here, which is our operations hub first name capitalized. All we need to do is select the trigger criteria centered around the property that you want to update. In this example, we'll reference a first name. And then through the use of HubSpot's format data, which if I just go to a plus action here, is making use of this workflow action. This enables us to select the property we want to update. We can choose how we want to format that. So in this instance, we're changing all characters to lowercase and this output will be in a string format. Once this is selected, we can then select which property we're gonna be writing to. So this output type string value will be then written to the first name. After that action's complete, we may then look to capitalize. So after we've standardized all into lowercase, we will then capitalize the first name by carrying out a similar process by using the format data. However, in this instance, we're gonna make use of the capitalized first letter. Now, again, when you actually choose a format data action, we just need to choose where we're going to write that output value. And in this instance, again, we're gonna to write to the first name. As you can see here, I have a test contact record, which is just myself. And my first name is in completely uppercase. If I now go and turn on this workflow, we won't enroll existing contacts in this instance, but all I'm going to do is just enroll myself manually to highlight the use case here and how this data would then be outputted. So upon enrolling myself, if we just give this a few seconds and refresh, we'll notice now that my first name has been rectified completely into lowercase with the capitalization. Now, in the instance that we are handling something like a job title, there may be different words involved within that job title. Instead of having to go through the process of splitting that out, you can make use of a format data action, which in this instance is changed to title case. So if I refer to my contact record, as you can see here, my job title is lead technical digital strategist with no upper cases involved. Through the use of the format data and the change to title case, when we carry out a similar process in orchestrating our workflow to ensure that the output data itself is written to a value, and in this instance, it'll be to the job title property. Now I've turned this workflow on and enrolled myself as a test contact. You will then see that the job title itself will be completely standardized with capitalization. So now I've enrolled myself. If we now just refresh this, you'll notice now that my job title itself is actually being rectified so that it is correctly presented. Now, another common encounter we get asked about is how we can actually format telephone numbers. So phone numbers are a common occurrence whereby the data may be entered in different values. So that could lead with, let's say, a plus four, four. That could be without a zero. That could be a four, four slash, for example. You can use Operations Hub format data to rectify these discrepancies. In this example, what we're doing is we're gonna say that the phone number is known. We've then created an if-then branch to create all the different variations of how that data could be entered into our CRM. So as you can see here, that could be 44 dash, that could be plus 44, for example. So we'll just create those variations via an if then branch. The first action in this instance will be then to cut the character or special characters out of our data. So as you can see here, in this example, it's 44 dash. However, in this example here, it is actually plus 44. What we've then done is actually created another if then branch so that if it has or hasn't got a leading zero, we can then insert that into our number. Now in this instance, again, we're making use of the format data. However, we're making use of the custom mode. Custom mode enables us to use our own formulas to effectively create custom codes or custom calculations to manipulate our data. In this instance, I'm making use of the join action, which enables us to actually add a zero to the phone number itself. And as you can see, based on the logic of our workflow, this only happens when we've identified that there is no leading zero. If the phone number starts with any zeros, we take no action. However, if that criteria isn't met, it then gets enrolled to then carry out that action for us. So to highlight this in action, if I just navigate to my contact record, as you can see here, we have a plus four, four as our leading characters. When I navigate to my workflow and turn this on, if I now actually enroll myself into this workflow for demonstrational purposes, you'll then notice that the actual value within that phone number property will be rectified through these actions. So upon refreshing, 
you'll notice now the plus four four has been removed. And now if we refresh again, not only has it removed the plus four four, but it's also inserted the zero for us automatically, standardizing all of the phone numbers within your CRM. Now, these are just three common examples we encounter on a regular basis. We will be continually releasing some content surrounding different examples that you can make use of, but be sure to check out our additional instructive videos within our video hub and our YouTube channel.